Hey, it's the Kalina Ministries, private and personal chef services, and we're praying with you. Delivering kingdom business, what's the what, 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 period, in Christ Jesus' name. Yes, we have reached year three in being victorious with Christ Jesus. And this year, we are diving into Romans 8. We will be having live videos of me doing the run and us praying we have to have to keep praying in all that we do that's the only way we get to access christ jesus and all the things that he has for us here on earth remember that we are running a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay amen a mile a day to keep the enemy at bay and I pray that this year blesses you. And this year we are wearing our armor and we are remembering Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Ephesians 6, 10 to 20 as we continue to remember Romans 8. And Romans 8, we'll be praying that into our lives as we continue to give God glory for all that he's done and all that he's going to continue to do. Amen. Now, you guys be great and enjoy these prayers. These prayers are for you to build your prayer life with Christ. And they are blessing me too. Um, I ask God to fill me up so that I can overflow into all that he's called me to be. I am not perfect, but through Christ who strengthened us, that's where my strength comes from. I pray that your strength comes from there as well. Wear the full armor and live in the spirit in just one moment we will be praying romans 8 into our lives i don't know what chapter it is for for whatever day it is but for now we will be reading romans 8 Romans 8 tells us life in the spirit how are we to conduct ourselves living in the spirit the holy spirit amen and that's what we aim to do here on this platform we serve the father and no one else on this platform we serve christ and no one else on this platform we serve the holy spirit and no one else now come on in and tap in into being victorious with christ jesus you have no other victory if you don't have christ jesus so that's why we claim victory in christ jesus that's why we keep being victorious with christ jesus here on this platform who do we serve father son holy spirit and no one else please stay tuned for the videos our tiktok we have a prayer every um for the whole year in the book for power of prayer and you guys can um tap into that too you guys can tap into you know my facebook and instagram and also my youtube channel so now you guys be great and as we continue to celebrate and commemorate god for all that he's done for us and all that he's going to continue to do for us we will dwell in these readings and prayers now you keep bringing great like i lead in ministries private and personal chef services and we're praying with you delivering kingdom business what to the what 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 period in christ jesus name and know you are loved and you can be taught the word of god and you can understand the word of god as long as you put the father son and the holy spirit in the mix you will not fail so may god's grace cover you may god's wisdom cover you may god's strength cover you may god's word cover you may god's strength cover you when you are weak so you will know that the only true strength comes for the most high now let's get into prayer romans 8 let's be great romans 8 verse 4 and he reads he did this so that we could be right just as the law said we must be now we don't live following our sinful selves we live following the spirit let me read that again he did this so that we could be right just as the law said we must be now we don't live following our sinful selves we live following the spirit our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive our debts as it is not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Heavenly Father, we come before you because you did this so that we could be right just as the law said we must be. <clears throat> Now, we don't live following our sinful selves. We live following the Spirit. And not just any Spirit, but the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit that is a part of the Trinity. The Holy Spirit that came because the resurrected King lived, died, and resurrected just so that we can have the Comforter come, so that we can live following the Spirit. Father God, it says there is no condemnation for those who believe in Christ Jesus. Then again, it says... The law, the, because in Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit that brings life made us free. We are free, Father God. We don't, we don't forget that we are free, Father God. We are free, no matter what the verdict say. Because if we believe in Christ Jesus, we are free. We have been made free from the law that brings sin and death, Father God. The law was without power because it was made weak because of our sinful selves. But Father God, we go further on into verse 4. He said, you did this because we could do right just as the law said we must be. Now we do not follow our sinful selves. We live according to the Spirit. We live according to the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit that comes to comfort us, to transform us, to mold us, and shape us into the image that you have called us to be since the beginning of time. So, Father God, as we continue to put on the armor and remember whose we are, why we are, Father God, we put on our armor remembering that you did this because we, we could be made right. Just as the law said, we must be. It's not that we can be. We must be. Now, we don't live following our sinful selves. We live following the Spirit. We live following the Holy Spirit. Whatever the Holy Spirit directs us to do. Father God, I pray that we go in that direction in the name of Jesus as we continue to stand firm in the obedience that you have called us to be. Father God, the same obedience that Jesus Christ had, Father God, I pray that we fall fresh on each and every one of us that tap into this video, as we remember that we could keep being victorious with Christ Jesus, that no matter what the circumstance say, we can keep being victorious with Christ Jesus, because there is no condemnation in Jesus, and because of Jesus, the law that was made to give us sin and death, Father God, you have made us free, free in the almighty Christ Jesus, and as we walk in that freedom, that you you did this that so that we can do what is right in your sight so that we can do what we must be in you father god now that we don't live following our sinful self we live following the holy spirit father god let the holy spirit lead us and guide us into all truth as we continue to be what we need to be for you on this earth father god in this holy spirit father god you will give us the language to speak the things to say the things to do the things to accomplish father god for your kingdom as we continue to stand in obedience to your word stand in obedience to what you have called us to be father god thank you lord that you continue to turn it around for our good you continue to mold us and shape us for our good you continue to reveal things to us for our good father god father god if you were to show us what sin and death would bring father god we would not be in this picture but because christ jesus paid a price father god we now we don't live following our sinful self we live following the spirit the holy spirit father god and thank you for the blood of jesus that came down and did the work for us father god now we can be grateful enough to mention grace and mercy that follow us all the days of our lives because you move mountains you cause walls to fall father god as we remember project jericho project noah project possessed the land father god <clears throat> We possess the land through Jesus Christ. We do Project Noah through Jesus Christ. We do Project Jericho through Jesus Christ. And because it's made through Jesus Christ, Father God, we are 